There are a number of ways to add bullet points into Excel. Although it's not exactly like Word, you can actually um, work quite nicely with the bullet points. So first, a common one is just to put a dash in. So for example, I'm going to put a dash and put my item. Now you have to be careful with that. When I click enter, immediately it gives me a name problem error because a dash is the same as a negative and Excel thinks you want to do a, a negative, a minus. So in order for this to work, you must first put an apostrophe, then a dash, and then your items, and you'll see they stay. So again, if I go into the next cell, apostrophe, a dash, and it'll work fine. You'll need to do the same thing if you want it in the same cell. So I'm going to have to start with an apostrophe. I'm going to put my dash. I'm going to put a word and then to go within the same cell to a new line I push alt enter and then I can push dash for example like that and it goes like that so you can actually put bullet points in like that here's another example where we've got a sentence but we'd like these to be bullet points now in this case I don't need the apostrophe because it does start with some words. So all I'm going to do is go here to where it says training and I'm going to go alt enter and put a dash over here, alt enter dash etc. And when you eventually push enter, you'll see you've got bullet points inside. We probably would have gone and put some spaces there as well. If you don't like using dashes, you want to use something that looks more like a bullet point. We can use symbols. So you'll see here we've got our items. What I want to do is go to the front of that one. I'm going to say insert and on the far right here there's symbol and then you can go search for whichever one you want so you'll see we've been recently working with them so there's a couple of options here so I'm going to choose that one there and when I say insert you'll see it appears here I'm just going to close it for now and click enter and you'll see it's included there now you can obviously go to each one and insert again but I find it's a bit easier. I'm just going to highlight that and copy it, Control C. And then I'm going to go here to make it go within one cell. I'm going to go Alt Enter and then Control V. And then we can just, because it's in your clipboard, Alt Enter, Control V, Alt Enter, Control V, Alt Enter, Control V. And then you've got bullet points with your symbol. You can also just copy the bullet points from Word. So for example here, you'll see I've created this. I'm going to copy it from Word. Now what's important here is there's two different ways to do it. So if I click on a cell and that's it once and I control V, it puts it in like this and notice that each line is on its own row as opposed to that the item is still in the clipboard I'm going to click in that cell effectively it's as if I'm going to do a double click so I'm going to just click into the actual cell and when I go control V and enter you'll see it keeps the bullets the formatting is not as nice but the bullet points are maintained from the word document Another way to add bullets is we can actually create a custom format. So here what you'll see is I've created, I've brought through a symbol and I've actually indented it with simple spaces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy that symbol and then I know I'm going to apply it to this one. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go control one 
to get to our formatting we we'll go to custom and over here I'm going to replace this I'm going to control V paste that bullet I'm going to give it a space just so there's a space between the, the bullet point and the text and I'm going to type the at symbol so you can already see it showing you a bullet point with training when I say OK so it appears with a bullet point notice the bullet point is not really there so the benefit of this is I can then go to the format painter and then I can just click on the ones that are relevant if I want to have an indentation so I'm going to take this one I'm just going to copy that with the spaces let's go here we'll do it to all of these again control one I'm going to go to custom now in this one you should be a little bit careful I'm going to paste it but notice the spaces in front there we need to add in the inverted commas for the spaces I'm just going to put a space over there and then I'm going to put my at symbol so when you've set that up I'm going to say OK so you'll see it's now set up like that and we can reuse them so I'm going to go format painter and just highlight those and you can see that we've now got the bullet points appearing even though they're not really there so it's just a visual thing and you obviously can go and indent and add more different levels.